Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. We are talking about series 2 where we are discussing triangles. Today is webinar number 24 and friends today we are going to prove the converse or opposite of Pythagoras theorem. In the last webisode, webisode 23, we learned how to prove Pythagoras theorem. I am going to provide you the link in this video for your easy reference. In this webisode, we are going to prove the opposite. So, we will be given if the square of one of the sides of a triangle is equal to sum of squares of the other two sides, then we want to prove that the angle opposite to the first side is a right angle triangle. It means that we will be given a triangle such that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. We are given this and we have to prove that angle B is equal to 90 degree. That is, if the square of one side of a triangle, if the square of one side of a triangle is equal to sum of squares of the other two sides, then angle opposite to the first side is 90 degrees. So, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So, we have to prove that this angle is 90 degrees. So, as you can see, friends, this is exactly the opposite of Pythagoras theorem. So, let's find out how can we actually prove this. So, first we will do a construction. So here we have our triangle ABC which is given to us, right? And let us just write it here. Also it is given that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. This is given to us. So friends, what we do is we draw a straight line like this and we measure a length QR. So, one end we say Q and we measure on this line, we measure length QR such that QR is equal to BC. We measure QR equal to BC by construction. Next, what we do is at Q, we draw a 90 degree angle and we draw a straight line like this. Now, on this straight line, which is a 90 degree angle, we measure AB and we find out a point P such that such that AB is equal to PQ. That means, so we have our angle Q 90 degrees going straight up. We measure the length AB so, on this line, we find a point Q such that PQ is equal to AB. Now, we simply join P and R. We simply join P and R. Now, let's just get rid of the excess lines. So, this triangle PQR is the triangle we just constructed, right? So, friends, if you take a look at, if you take a look at what is given to us. This was the Pythagoras theorem which was given to, this was the, this is what is given to us. Remember in the triangle ABC, right? So here you can replace, you can replace AB by PQ, right? So AB square is same as PQ square, square because by construction AB is equal to PQ right? Similarly, you can replace BC by QR. So, BC square is nothing but QR square, right? Now, if you look at your triangle PQR, PQR is a right angle triangle. So, PR square, so we have PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square, right?
friends, please understand that even though we are trying to prove the converse of Pythagoras theorem, we can actually take help of Pythagoras theorem itself, right? So in triangle PQR, angle Q is 90 degrees by construction. So this is a right angle triangle. So PR square will be equal to PQ square by QR square by Pythagoras theorem. Now if you take a look at this, let's call this our condition number two and what we found earlier as condition number one. If you look at this, the right hand side of both are same, right? So here AC square is written as PQ square plus QR square. Here PR square is written as PQ square plus QR square. So from one and two we see that AC square is actually equal to PR square or we can say therefore AC is equal to PR. So what we have found out is AC is equal to PR from both the conditions 1 and 2. Now friends if you compare if you look at triangle ABC and PQR you will notice that all corresponding sides are equal. So we can say these two triangles are congruent triangles. That means that this angle must be equal to this angle. That is angle B must be equal to angle Q and angle Q is 90 degrees. That means angle B is 90 degrees. So why both the triangles are congruent because by S S S congruence rule theorem we can say these two triangles are congruent because all corresponding sides are equal AD equals to PQ by construction BC equals to QR by construction we have proved AC is equal to PR right here we have actually proved that right so these two triangles are congruent and congruent triangles in congruent triangles corresponding angles are equal so angle B must be equal to angle Q but angle Q by construction is 90 degrees so angle B must be 90 degree so friends here this is the opposite or converse of Pythagoras theorem we started off with the fact that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square and we have found out that angle B is indeed 90 degrees.